Today's April the 6th, and we're going to be working on our chicken tractor that we started last week. We've been working really hard in the garden trying to get everything going with that so that we can show you guys how to do some things. Um, upcoming this week, we'll be doing a apartment plant garden um, for containers and uh, trying to get this sun situated and I'll be doing that for Rachel. She requested that. We've been a little slow in getting that out, but had a lot of things going on. But anyway, this morning, we're gonna be gluing up our uh, 10 by 11 chicken tractor and trying to get the, the uh, chicken wire on the sides. And we'll have to see about getting the, the top made. So anyway, stay tuned with us. And as always, we're glad you're here, especially if you've come back. If you've never been here, then by all means, please subscribe and stay along with our journey. I know it's a crazy, crazy time and, and everybody's at home and bored. And so we're gonna to try to do some things that are a little bit fun. Maybe you can get a little entertainment, not necessarily school you, but just some entertainment. So anyway, Hang in there, and we'll get started on the chicken tractor. Start. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a level, a small level, <clears throat> and we're going to level everything up. Then we're going to take a, a pencil, a blue marking pencil, and we're going to mark all of our joints so that we can put them back together correctly. So we'll do a little bit of that, and then we'll come back. So basically what we're doing now, <clears throat> we're taking everything apart, we're gonna clean it up, wipe it down with the, with the paper towel. Then we're gonna put primer, and then we're gonna glue it up. And so after we've got some more of this done, we'll come back. This is what she looks like, the bottom run of it. It's all glued up the uprights are in it there it's going to be two feet tall and about 10 feet wide about 11 feet long so we you always have to modify just a hair but anyhow that's uh as if you can see right down there you can see where we glued her up and everything we're going to do some more and we'll get back to you just as soon as we get some more done a little bit of an update here. We got the whole bottom done. Now we've got this side glued up. And to make sure these things are straight, you really gotta take your time. Make sure everything fits, you know, so that you don't end up wasting a whole bunch of real expensive pipe, which I've got, I don't know, the pipe on this particular deal is about $218. So right now we're uh, taking you can see the blue right there and the kind of the purple and you put primer on it which is the purple and see the can here pvc primer and you take your little um, brush that's inside and you wipe all around both pieces so that they're good and, they're good and clean then you take your brush off your glue and go around the inside. Some people go around the inside of both pieces. I generally just go around the inside of one piece and uh, put everything in here. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of that. Camera work ain't gonna be too too good, but anyway, it uh, we're basically gonna do do this. Nope, I guess you couldn't see it. You do this, and then you put the glue in it. But uh, anyhow, we're going to go ahead on and set you back off to the sidelines and we'll show you a little more in a little bit. Hey, it's Steve, Steve's Farm Adventure. We're back working on this old chicken tractor right here. Brand new one, PVC, three inch pipe, glued together. And today we're putting the start to put the chicken wire on. Now we've got other parts that uh, showed you how to glue everything chicken wire 
on, we're using number 10 inch and a half sheet metal screws and number 10, which are uh, 3 sixteenths, I believe that's right, let me look at the bottom. Yep, 3 sixteenths by an inch and a quarter washer and that, that pulls that chicken wire really tight. And so, as we go down through here, we just got started on the front. And uh, you just take your drill or impact gun, whichever you got, and pull down on your wire with one hand and run it in. But don't get your thumb hung. And there it is. So, we're going to continue around the rest of it. And we'll show you a little bit more as we go along. So uh, stay with us and we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we switched the camera around. So now I'm gonna walk over here and show you. We showed you a little bit about what we did yesterday. I'm gonna get down in here a little closer and see those screws that are holding the chicken wire up. We also took right here some bailing wire and pulled everything tight. There's no way anything can get in there. They can try, but they can't do it. So this is one continuous piece of chicken wire. Now we built this thing. It's 11 feet wide and right at 10 feet, I mean 11 feet long and right at 10 feet wide. And so if one 50 foot roll of two foot chicken wire will go all the way around this thing, just like you're seeing. I don't, I don't know how much you can see the chicken wire on the, with the sun, but anyway, I'll get back to the other side as I talk about it. Now, this, again, this is made out of three inch pipe. In this video, it's kind of going to be a, it's a one part, one do video, but it's, we've, we've been doing this over about a week. We've been kind of taking our time with it and getting the pipe glued up and everything like that. So now what you see laying on top will be the door and then the metal siding over here on the trailer will be the roof and uh, here in a little while we'll show you how how far we have get today hopefully we're going to finish this rascal because our chickens down there want to get up here in this fresh green grass and I need them to come up here so I don't have to continue to mow but anyway um, what we use on the screws we used inch and a half number 10s and we used um, 3 sixteenths by inch and a quarter washers and man that holds it tight. Ain't no possum coon or nothing else unless they chew through that wire going to get through it. So anyway, we've got our cold frame opened up, our hoop cover off for strawberries and come back in a little while after we, after we get some of this stuff done and fit it up. So hold on and we'll be back. Do we've we've drilled holes. We're using this one by four that'll be up against the lid. This this is our, our top that'll raise up and down. It uh, we'll be putting metal roofing on it. And we've already secured the other side, so we're taking these inch and a half um, screws and we got this little pilot hole. It's, and now we're going to drive these in and secure that all the way down. And then we'll go back and uh, put our, we're going to use strap and I'll show you that again in a minute. So we'll finish this up. We're using our handy dandy little 20 volt impact gun and drill set. So we're going to set that right there and hope it don't fall. So anyway, now we've got our brace for our roof. And in a minute, we'll be, be putting our strap back up there. This is what we're using, going to hold the top on with, is a three quarter inch plumber strap. It's got holes in it where we can run bolts in through. We'll put Put this around and put bolt, a bolt through three of these. We'll put three pieces on here to hold this lid down. We got a little bit more done. 
it uh, bring you in here and take a close look at this this is pipe strap and we bent it around we drilled a hole through our, our wood and we put a quarter inch bolt through it it uh, pretty sure you can see that and we came down here it does the same thing and down here on the other side so we've got three three points of contact so it should stay relatively stiff and straight we're going to come back in probably right in here and put a put a wood screw to go through there just to kind of help everything stay a little more stable and and all as you lift it up and down so anyway now we're going to cut these pigtails off it uh with our um, sheet metal shears cut them off and bend them down and uh we'll see how it goes from that it uh, we're probably going to have to uh line our roofing up so that these will stick up underneath the hump in the metal roof but anyway we're going to work a little bit more and we'll bring you back as we get things done hey guys we are back we've got our everything's down the lid works really good so we can get in there the nesting boxes it's easy to come up and down and now we're going to back this first board up with with some more one before us and then we're going to go down through here and space them out to put our metal roof on i'd like to give josh the stony ridge farmer credit for my for this chicken tractor that uh, we saw his and put a little bit of more work into it to design it and make it functional for our farm but uh, anyway thanks josh I'm going to go ahead and screw down and start with the backer board for the actual hinge board for our um, door opening so we can get in to the chicken tractor and change water and feed and collect the eggs and everything. So we're going to continue doing this and uh, stay with us. Now you want to make sure that you keep these boards right here up tight when you do this. Now we're going to get some of these other boards over here and start laying them out. I'm going to line this, this board up with the edge of this pipe. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'll move down here and maybe you can't. Line this board up right here at the edge of this pipe where it's straight. And then we'll take a measurement. I think we're going to divide that by two because I believe that'll help save us some weight. So we got 
68 divided by 2 is 34. So we take 3 off 34 means 31. Well, 3 and a half, but 31 is going to work. Alright, we're going to pull it down this way a little bit. You don't have to be exact on this, just somewhere close. I only put one in on one side so that I can move it. There we go. Now here in a few minutes, we're going to get into the dangerous part, cutting that metal roof to fit. Now we'll go ahead and finish putting our screws in here. So that everything will be nice and strong. What I do is I push the end of that thing in so to get a bite. All right. Now we can get our metal roof and measure what we need on that. So as we get this done, we're going to skip through some parts of it, it uh, so the video is not so long. So we'll be back when we do a little more. Here's the finished product. It, uh, we were trying to get it done the other day and didn't really film the putting the roof and everything on it. But it, uh, we can show you that now. It's uh, pretty easy. <laughs> And all the old girls and all. Basically, here's where we screwed down our top. See if we can get a better shot of it. It uh, screwed it all the way across on the one befores. And then our lid. And uh, chickens really like being out here. They seem to be a little excited right now. I don't know why. It, uh, but anyway, the lid, you just reach down here and pick it up. Then there's the chickens. Everybody's all toe up for some reason. But anyway, this is the kind of the finished product. It moves pretty good. Got that yellow rope right there that, uh, what we pull it with. And so far, since we've been using it, uh, we've moved it along several times. You can see the yard right here. It, uh, we're letting the yard feed our chickens. It's got our feed bill by about two-thirds, and they, they really like it. Plus, when this grass comes back, it, uh, as I walk along, you, you can tell where it, it's set and everything. And uh, I, we get up here. This is this area right here 
was the second day and and you can tell right there is the begin is the beginning of the first day so you can tell how much that uh they worked the, the yard over for us and so tomorrow we're going to turn it around and start coming we'll turn it around and we'll come right back down beside this right here to where we're standing right now. Then we'll turn around and go back. Now you do have to mow your grass, but you don't have to mow it quite as much. And when it comes back, we will have fertilized our yard for absolutely free. So anyway, this is Steve with Steve's Farm Adventure. We're glad you're visiting with us. We hope you'll come back. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up and tap the notification bell for our future videos. So anyway, thanks a lot. God bless and keep safe during this time of trials.